Hello and welcome back to Phil Savage Rebuilds and another Soho Edition mini video. Now part 5. So, there's two jobs I want to try and get done today um, on this car. I really want to get this back arm sorted and get this wheel straight, so that's going to be the first job. So you see it's not straight, I didn't get time to do it last time, so we'll get it turned around, get the back on axle, stand the wheel off and we'll change that back arm. But another thing I want to, I want to get done, um, you see this damage, obviously I've got a new bumper because uh, well, I don't think it's repairable, it's, it's pushed itself out on the crash bar. So instead of trying to repair it, I've got um, a replacement bumper, but it's not in the right colour, so I've decided to give it a go and actually rattle can these bumpers and see what the match is like. So I've had some paint mixed, so I want to get this rubbed down, get the trims taken off, and have a go at painting this today and see what kind of um, match we can get. I'm going to do the same with the front bumper as well, I've got that but again in a different colour so we'll have a go at painting that see how it turns out and see uh, yeah, see if it's worth actually trying to rattle can these instead of um, getting a proper spray gun when we get the unit up and running I am going to I am gonna invest in a spray gun and um, actually do them properly but in, in my garage it's just not there's no room for it so I'll give it a go to spray cans on this car see what it's like if you don't try it you don't know do you don't find out so we'll, we'll get it spun round now and we'll um, we'll crack on with that back arm and get this wheel straight. Right, got it turned around, got the got it jacked up, wheel off. So have a bit of a better look now at this. You can see that kink straight in there. So we've got the one bolt at the bottom. One nut should I say. That bolt then should come out. And then um we've got the one at the far end up there. So I'm going to have to drop the back end of this um, Honda tray just to get a spanner on the other side of the bolt but it shouldn't be too bad of a job but this uh, aluminium alley swing arm is all fine, there's no cracks in it or anything no damage anywhere so that's good so it's literally just a, uh, swapping the arm out and that should solve that problem then should get the wheel straight for us so we'll crack on with that so we got it out guys, that's the old one. Proper kinky in that, isn't it? And that's my replacement in front. So see the overall length difference, that's why the bottom of the wheel's been pulled in. Um so yeah, the the, the um the bolt on the hub side was pretty easy to get out. But the bolt up on the um subframe side was pretty badly corroded on the end, so I had to give it a good soak with WD-40 to get it to to undo what we got there. So I'll throw the new one on now and uh, we'll have that complete in no time. Okay guys, there we go. That's the new arm on. Looking good. That hub's looking nice and straight now with the car. So we'll throw that wheel on now and then it'll tell us then if we're nice and straight. Okay, so there we have it. The wheel's back in place. Nice and straight now. Same as the other side. So that's it, we've got all the wheels pointing in the right direction now on this car, so it's a run and drive, which is good. Um, so literally now all we've got is um, Air Conrad, the two bumpers and the bonnet to sort. 
and next up that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to start to prep it's got a bit sunny for a change I'm going to start to prep this um, this white bumper so I'm going to take off this plastic trim I'm going to rub down it rub it all down and um, have a look what we can do see how we can get this looking with the paint these rattle cans that I've got might end up a disaster but you never know so we can only give it a go can't we so I'll whip this off, give it a rub down um, and get some paint on it there's no damage on it anywhere so let's crack on alright so I've whipped that bottom trim off I'm going to give it a good clean now um, and then I'm going to I'm going to sand it down with a thousand wet um, just to dull it all off and Joe, this this bumper's in good condition, so there's no nothing more needed prep wise than that. I don't think. You know, I'm not a body shop, so I'm sure some of you won't think this is the proper way to do things, and it isn't. But it's the only way I have at the minute, and I'm hoping it's going to be good enough. So we'll find out. Uh, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? So we'll wash it down, and then we'll we'll rub it down with a thousand and see what it looks like. All right, so I've cleaned it. I've rubbed it down with a thousand grit wet. As, and you can see it's all dulled off all the paint's dull now so the the new paint should stick to it so I'm going to get the aerosol now well at first of all I'm going to get a bit of panel wipe just wipe it down just to make sure there's nothing nothing on it then I'm going to get the first coat of um, aerosol on it see how that goes okay so there we are we've got a painted bumper um, rattle canned <laughs> looks pretty good to be fair I'm quite happy with it hmm. so I'm waiting for it to tack off a bit now and then I can lacquer it this isn't lacquered yet this is just just rattle canned nothing else there is a little bit of a run there but that's not from me this bumper had already been painted um, and that that run was already there I tried rubbing it down a bit but couldn't get it down so not worried about it looks good nice color so yeah we'll give it a bit of 20 minutes or so to tack off and I'm gonna hit it with some lacquer and look at the finished article all right so there we go um, nicely lacquered we've got three coats of lacquer on there so once that's gone off it should have a nice shine um, but the color really nice obviously I can't tell exactly how good of a match it is until we get it on the car uh, but that needs to dry now overnight and then um, before I go ahead and do the front one and the bonnet I want to get this one fit and have a look exactly how it how it looks um, so worst case it might be a really bad match it shouldn't be because it's the same colour same colour from um, so it's been mixed the right colour code should I say so it should be a good finish but yeah so we are rattle can bumper I think the the the, uh, the finish is pretty good to be fair. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, so we've got the the rear wheel now in line. So this car now runs and drives. I haven't been routing it because there's no front end on it. I don't know upset the neighbours. Uh, we've got the rear bumper painted, ready to well drying now, ready to go on. So we'll get that on in the next video, and hopefully it's a good match, and then we can carry on and paint the uh, the front bumper and the bonnet. And uh, that's going to be pretty much it then for this car. Uh, so whilst I've been um, painting today, I've been also bidding on cars, and I have won one at auction, but it didn't meet reserve unfortunately. But it's not far off meeting reserve, so I'm pretty confident that they'll probably accept it or at least counter bid me, and then I'll just refuse it anyway, and then they might accept that. So anyway, uh, so hopefully they will accept it. If they do, at some point tomorrow, I'll be heading up to near Newcastle to pick it up. Uh, once I've got it, I'll put on a little picture onto Instagram show you all what I've got or at least maybe a corner of it or something to see if you can guess what it is um, I think it's quite interesting so should be a good um, good car for the channel so as always if you enjoy these videos please do uh, subscribe to the channel give the videos a good thumbs up um, it all helps towards you know YouTube algorithm and um, I will catch you next time thanks for watching cheers <laughs>